Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Kim and I upload videos once a week about Aluda fashion and today I'm finally doing my sock video. I have recorded this video at least two separate times now and I have no idea where that footage is. Either a gremlin came in my house and like stole my footage off my SD card or it somehow got wiped because it's, it's nowhere to be found. I've also recorded like three other videos weeks ago and that footage is also gone so... <sighs> There's been a lot going on the past month. There was like forest fires and like wedding planning and like all kinds of other stuff. And like, I'm surprised I'm even working these days because my morale and energy and just like level to do anything has just been like, I just want to do nothing but watch 90 Day Fiance all day. So yeah, and because I appreciate y'all for sticking around so much through the inconsistency and when I film, how I film and my lighting and my editing, I am going to make sure I let you guys know every single sock that I go over in this video. I don't think you guys realize how much work it is to edit a video and do that kind of thing. But I appreciate y'all. I'm glad y'all still rocking with me. Thank you so much. If you're new to this channel and you're wondering why I'm not wearing Lolita, be quiet because I don't have to wear Lolita to show you my Lolita stuff. But let's just, let's just, just go ahead and get that out of the way because I'm not, as you can see, I'm not wearing Lolita. I'm just wearing a white t-shirt and a blonde wig because I'm feeling real, real Beyonce Knowles right now. I'm feeling real 2006 Destiny's Child. We're going to talk about socks. I'm going to go over all of my socks and tights and leg wear. I'm going to try and make this quick because I have to go to work at some point. I'm probably going to be late clocking in the work, but what? what is late? What is late in the era of COVID? You know? What is late? Put some lipstick on. A CoverGirl lipstick. I lied, it's not CoverGirl. It's Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Mink. I thought it was CoverGirl and then I was gonna sing, CoverGirl, put the face in your walk. But it's Revlon, so Okay, let's just go ahead and get into this video. I keep my socks in one of these like large decorative boxes that you can get from like Michaels. Um, and <laughs> these are all of my socks. Everybody. These are all my socks and um, we're just gonna go through them one by one. We're going to start with the newest pair of socks that I own which are these chocolate and pink socks from Taobao. <sighs> They're just called Royal Chocolate. They don't have a name but I can try and leave the link in the description box. And I got these to go with uh, my Melty Royal cardigan. Melty Royal Chocolate Cardigan. And I think it'll pair pretty nicely because this pink is pretty similar and it's got this like crown emblem on the front. And um, it's got these little dots at the bottom and it's got like the little, little chocolate that's melting and strippy. They're pretty stretchy, but it's going to stretch out the fabric and the print like most socks will. So if you got big calves, you played a lot of softball. I don't, you gonna be pushing it, friend. Next are these ivory and pink socks from Angelic Pretty. I also own these in lavender, um, but I bought these secondhand. Ooh, that's bright. I'm gonna have to back it up back here. Um, and it just says Angelic Pretty down here, which is pretty nice. And for second hand, these are pretty good condition. They're like very clean. Y'all know when y'all buy socks second hand and the sole is like black and you're like, home oh girl, you've been stepping in mud in these socks? Dang. Also got these socks second hand from the same seller. And these are just pink. Over the knee socks from Angelic Pretty. I think these are new. These look pretty new. Um, I don't. I feel like I know the print that goes with this. It's like that pink velvet uh, like holiday print with like the ornaments on it because I think it's that one because the uh, back of the socks, I should probably take my ring off, have this like candy cane. All right, you need to stop focusing on my face. And it has this uh, candy cane and then bow kind of detail. And they're really cute been a year y'all for everyone but I 
plan on doing the most this holiday season. I'm trying to dress up and do cookie baking by myself. Um, looking at holiday lights, going to zoo lights with Anthony, just trying to be the cutest person I can because I, I think I can count on like one hand how many times I've worn Lolita out of the house and I can probably count on maybe three hands how many times I've worn Lolita this year. And not a lot, not a lot. Even though I've been buying a lot of dresses, I haven't worn enough. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to act the fool this Christmas season. So be ready. Next up are these green socks from Jane Marple. I got these in Japan when I went to the Jane Marple store. I've never really been into Jane Marple before, but like as I get older and I'm leaning more towards like classic and like gothic in some ways and like mature sweet like I'm digging I'm digging the jewel tones so um yeah these are just very long Jane Marple over the knee socks um and they have the Jane Marple the, the letters on the front that spell out Jane going down the front of your leg and then on the back it's just got a little strap strap these are very stretchy socks. I like stretchy socks because I have long legs and most tights don't fit me because I have long legs. But um, give me some good stretch over the knee socks and I'm in heaven. Next up are some diamond or is it lame? Lame? These lame socks? From Angelic Pretty, they are navy, like silver. They have crown. Um, embroidery on the socks and then it has this Bordeaux top and then the uh, diamond pattern just kind of goes to the bottom of the foot and these are really good for like circus cords, regal cords, um, all kinds of cords like that. Keeping up with the jester patterns we have these diamond gold and white weave socks from Alice and the Pirates and um, these are pretty popular if you like. Um, very stretchy Pretty basic, it says Alice and the Pirates at the uh, heel kind of area, back of the back of the ankle, ankle area. And yeah, I've worn these socks a few times and um, I, I think for the number of times I've worn these socks, I think the soles look pretty good. You know why? Pro tip, when you are wearing socks that you want to prolong. Get you those, I don't know what the proper term of them is, but they're like slip-on toe covers kinda, and they go over both your toe and your heel, and it will protect the sole of your socks from getting super dirty. So anytime my shoes allow for it, I wear those things, and that prolongs the soles of your socks. Again, use your socks, stop looking like you've been troughing through mud in your socks. Like, you need to protect your socks, especially your delicate ones. Like, I have never paid like $40 for socks before. I think that is ridiculous. Like I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and get a pack of socks, get a 10 pack of socks from TJ Maxx before 99. That's usually me. But when you're talking about items that are very delicate and more expensive and you know, just higher maintenance, like take care of your stuff, friends, take care of your stuff. Next up are probably my most favorite pair of socks and they are these pink uh, lace, they're not lace, they're just, I don't know what fabric this is. It's very delicate though, but these are from Angelic Pretty. I love these socks so much. They are my favorite because my favorite dress is Rose Dress Up and I love to wear these socks with that dress. And they just have this very delicate top uh, lace and this bow at the top. And then in these socks, the, let me, it has ribbons in the sock. See that there? And then it also spells A and then P. And they're just very beautiful and delicate. And then um, these are the soles. Again, y'all, I bought these socks. I bought these socks secondhand and I wear those sock covers with these socks. And like, I've had these socks for years and look at this. They're not, not, even, a, not, not even a speck of black on these soles. I'm telling y'all those sock covers, you need to get them. But yeah, these are my favorite pair. Look at this bow. It's just, it's so dainty and feminine and I I just I love I love these socks they're also very stretchy but as 
as most people in Lolita know, stretchy is subjective. Those, so those ivory socks that I mentioned, the ivory and pink dot ones, these are just the same ones in lavender. These are my only lavender pair of socks. Um, so they're just, yep, they're the same socks. Same thing at the bottom. Um, oh, I need to, I need to wash these more. They still have sock glue on them. Um, but yeah, same deal. Cute. My only lavender pair of socks to get the job done. Even though I say lavender is my favorite color, how do you only own one lavender dress and one lavender pair of socks when lavender is your favorite color? Allegedly. It's, it's really pink. My engagement ring's pink. This room is pink. Like, I just, I do love lavender, but I just, I, I have a lot of pink stuff. Although that's not true, our house is lavender. Our bathrooms are lavender. Our bedroom's lavender. So, yeah. So next up are these Melty Cream Donut socks from Angelic Pretty. And um, these socks are hard to find. A girl tried to ask me if I would sell these socks to her. They weren't even listed. I don't know how she knew I had the Melty Cream Donut socks in sacks, but somehow she knew and she messaged me and she was like, if you happen to be selling these socks in this colorway, like I would love to buy them. Girl, no. When did that become a thing? When did people start trying to get people to sell their stuff? It's like the people who are trying to get people to sell their houses that don't want to move. And they're like, well, what if I give you $750,000? And they're like, this is a family home. This is a generational house. I'm the first person in my family to own this house. Why are you trying to coax people to move so you can build your quadplex? No, it's not quite the same, but y'all know what I mean. Like, no. Anyway, these are cute. They got the donuts going down them. They got the donuts and it says that you look pretty. And uh, yeah. Next up are these Baby the Starshine Bright socks. I don't remember what they're called. I got them in Japan because I wanted some more ivory socks. I'm not sure if these are Bordeaux. It's Bordeaux or is it brown? That looks Bordeaux, right y'all? That's Bordeaux. It's just these little regal socks. And they've got little crowns. And then it says Baby the Starshine Bright for you. These are kind of dirty. I need to throw these in the washer. Um, yeah, just basic over the knee socks. And, um, there you go. It's probably so weird sometimes. You just buy stuff because it looks cute. And then you never get around to wearing it. And then it's just like, <sighs> let me fix this tie before someone tries to clown me for not having the most presentable, pristine wardrobe. Who has the time for that? I don't have the time for that. Like I said, y'all lucky y'all even get in this video. Because I really don't even feel like filming it. I just want to sit on my couch and watch Angela curse out Michael. That's all I want to do. So next up are these ivory lace, just basic ivory over the knee socks from Angelic Pretty. I got this from the Angelic Pretty pair, not pairs, <laughs> San Francisco store like years ago. They are my most worn pair because they're pretty basic and they, you can make this go with most things. I've made this go with things I probably shouldn't have made it go with, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, they just have this thick lace at the top of it and they're just ivory and they're pretty, pretty basic. And um, that's the bottom Angelic Pretty logo was wearing off a little bit, but it's okay. They're really warm. I like these in the winter time because they're very warm. Next up are, I think these are called Princess Logo something. These are from Angelic Pretty and these are just basic over the knee pink socks that also need a bath. Kimberly, you sitting here telling people to wash their socks and you didn't even wash your own socks, girl. Pot calling the kettle black. At the back of the ankle, it has angelic pretty written here. And then at the top, it's got this cute lace with a little bow and a pearl. And these are just basic pink socks. Next up are these ivory uh, under, these are like ivory knee socks from angelic pretty. These are like a stretchy kind of like tight material, which is nice. And they just have this little dot pattern on them and they have bows that go down the back of your calf and then it says angelic pretty at the back this light's so bright i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry y'all already know i can't get my light right okay so these are the socks and they just have angelic pretty and they have the logo at the bottom like most ap socks do 
and yeah I like these socks a lot next up are I think these are like romantic angel something socks from angelic pretty and these are just a very like dusty kind of pink sock and they are stretchy kind of I don't know what material this is. Don't, I'm not a true Lolita. I don't know nothing about fabrics. I don't know nothing about materials, construction, none of that. So just look it up on Loli Brary because I'm leaving the name for you. Um, in the print, there are these little cupids. They're so cute. And they just, they have their little bow and arrow and they're just, they're shooting out the love. And it has the AP logo embroidered in there. And then the pattern just continues to the bottom all the way to the bottom of the socks and these are light pink like i said um and then at the top it has this lace and this nice bow i do like these socks these are not as stretchy as those other pink ones that i have and these are actually under the knee socks like they look long but because they're not that stretchy they're under the knee and i don't reach for these that often because under the knee socks make me make my dresses look like they're too short and i'm already tall so I tend to try to get over the knee because otherwise it's like this weird like my dress stops like right above my knees most of the time I'm not wearing an underskirt leave me alone and then my socks fall under my knee so then it just there's like this weird gap I don't know it just looks funny on me I don't like it next up are our pair of socks I've never worn I've definitely never worn these I don't even know why I bought these maybe because they looked fancy and they, I wear them and they just look weird but they are these white lace like sheer socks from angelic pretty they're very pretty and delicate and they have this like ornate pattern in them um and they're sheer so like it's an interesting effect on your legs but like i just i don't i don't know i don't like these i don't even know why i still have them i should sell these and at the top they have the lace and a nice bow here and they're just they're very delicate and, and feminine and like fancy and ornate and all these words I already mentioned before but I just I don't know I'm probably gonna sell these because again I've never worn them I've had these for well over a year I've never worn them, maybe even two years so if you're looking for these socks leave a comment I'll sell them to you you can have them I mean you can't have them you can buy them I'm not just gonna give these away but you know what I mean. Next up are, I believe these are the chocolate rosette socks from Angelic Pretty. And um, I like these because they fold down and they make this little cuff here. Um, so that's a really nice detail. And then on the uh, pattern on the sock, it's got, um, what are these things? What are these things called? Rosettes. They have rosettes and badges and shields and I really like wrinkle print stuff if you haven't noticed that's a common motif in my wardrobe and um, yeah I do love these socks they're stretchy they're a good tie and um, yeah they're navy I'm working on getting more jewel tones in my I'm not working on it because I'm like not really buying the leader right now because weddings are expensive I do enjoy a good navy I've been like super into Bordeaux for real so I am excited for the fall next up are some socks I've still haven't worn yet these are the neon star diner ankle socks in black and they're really cute they have like um, little retro motifs on them. little roller skate my ass isn't roller skating I tried to rollerblade once like three years ago for the first time since I was like a teenager and it's scary know like as a kid you're not afraid of anything like we lived on a big hill and I used to like rollerblade down the hill and just not even care and now if I want a flat surface I'm like <laughs> shout out to the people who are roller skating right now because roller skate for me and this is a little record on the other side of the sock these are just really cute funky fresh cute little cute little socks to go at neon star diner I'm not a fan of this organza though I <laughs> Don't like the don't like the feeling of organza. Ugh. Now we're moving on to tights. The first pair of tights we have are these super cute tights from a Taobao shop called Ruby Rabbit. And they are these, um, they're so cute, guys. Which was this? This is the front. And they are black. They also come in other colors, like black and blue and black and red, I think. But um, look at this pattern. It's got like pumpkins and like spider webs. It's a little late for me to be getting this video out because I realized that like this would have 
The first video I recorded y'all was like probably a month and a half ago and I really wanted to get this video out so people could order these tights in time for Halloween but I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to it. I told you a gremlin's in my house taking all my footage. Taking all my footage and all my money. It just, it's so cute and it's got like spider webs and like bats and like this spooky tree. And then the other leg has a different pattern on it. It's got more backs, more backs, more bats. And then on the, the print also continues on the back of the tights, which is nice. So then um, on the other side of the tight is this like house, this spooky house. And it's like in a graveyard. These tights, they're so cute. And they're stretchy though, but keep in mind, if you got big thighs, big calves, big legs, friend, this print is going to stretch out and you're going to lose the full vibrance of the print. They're not quite Red Maria stretch tights, but Ruby Rabbit is, is trying to give Red Maria a run for the money. If you don't know who Red Maria is, they are a Taobao shop that makes a lot of tights and they make the stretchiest tights I have ever seen in the Lita ever. Ask anyone who's plus size, or tall or got a little bit of curve, like Red Maria tights are the tight place to go to for tights. I just said tights like five times in that sentence, but they are the go-to place for tights. Anyway, these are so cute. I'm going to wear this. I have a Halloween tea party next weekend. It might be this weekend when I upload this video. So it's probably gonna be this weekend. Uh, so yeah, I plan on wearing these tights and I'm really excited to see how that cord turns out. Next pair of tights. These are really socks, but they're the tight material. And these are these funky Abiatash <laughs> socks that like, these are real funky, haven't worn these yet. Um, but they have like the like, um, like the lacing right here and like this crazy pattern. I think these are in the ivory color. And these are just, these are wild. I would like to wear these. I just haven't found I've barely even worn the Lita this year, but I just haven't found something I want to pair this with. So yeah, these are a good tie. I also got these in Japan because a win in Rome. Next up are these strawberry tights I got from AliExpress. Um, I love these because they're also very stretchy and they were pretty cheap and they just have this super cute like strawberry pattern. One of my biggest like things I look for in tights are the crotch to tummy ratio. How much real estate are you giving me from my crotch to the waistband? That is incredibly important for people who are tall, plus size, or you have a little bit of extra, you have a little bit of extra warmth around your midsection and that's okay. I need something that's gonna just bring it in and it isn't gonna dig into my stomach and it's not gonna constantly roll down. So I need something with a good crotch to tummy ratio. Most brand tights, actually all brand tights, don't have it. I can't fit into brand tights because they stop like right above my hips. So I can't like just, it's like it just, it doesn't get up over my butt and I just can't do it. So I have to see other alternative resources, but this, this is a lot of crotch to tummy ratio, y'all. This is a lot. This fits so nicely. It is not tight. It gives me a lot of room. I don't have to do the, <sighs> like that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, These tights got it. They got it. I love these. I want these in any other print that comes available. The, the... You want to talk about some tights that give you maximum crotch to tummy ratio. Red Maria tights. I am obsessed with Red Maria as just like in a Taobao shop from the accessories they offer, the bags they offer, the tights they offer. Like they are catering to the rest of the world that isn't a size small and under and they can get all my money all the time. I have these tights in two different colors. These are these really nice like princessy tights um, with like a bow detail here. These are in the pink color. So this is the pink and this is the ivory. You probably can't tell it very well. You can tell when you look down at the leg like this is, you know, this is a little shaded. This is a lot more shaded in pink. Um, but y'all look at the look. Hold on. Do you see? Do you see all of this? You get so much room. It's gonna cover 
it I could pull these up to my these could be some high waist tights like I can pull these up here to my bra and be good and it's I can get that zipper up no problem but I just I just I love these guys please if you have not heard of Red Maria you're sleeping you're hibernating hibernating I will never look at brand tights again I almost like don't even want to look at brand socks again like the sock tights because there, I'm ready. Taobao is coming. Taobao is coming for everyone else's throats. These, I have more socks. I missed a pair. These are my one and only Moitié socks. These are the, I'll leave the name for you, but these are the Alter socks. These are some, some gothic socks from Moitié. And um, this was my first Moitié item. I got these when I modeled for Moitié at SoccerCon years ago. I don't own a ton of black. But um, I went on my Corona vacation trip to Lesotho in these socks, and it was a good time. Next up are some more socks that I, sorry, some more tights that I bought from AliExpress. Um, you don't get a ton of crotch to tummy ratio, but that's okay. They're very soft and pretty stretchy, and they have this like kind of whimsical. I don't know why I call it whims. Oh, it is whimsical because there's a fairy on here, but it's pretty faded. I feel like this might be a replica of something. I don't know. If they are, I've never seen it before and I didn't know that, so leave me alone. But they are just these really cute ivory tights. They're pretty cute. They're like 10 bucks. I I almost don't want to show y'all this, but I will show you anyway because I, I'll be transparent and I'll own up to my mistake. But I bought a pair of tights. And uh, I'm not going to say where because I don't want to send business to this place where I got these tights from. Um, but I um, have hey, these tights. These look familiar to anyone. They probably do. Didn't, it didn't click at the time of purchase when I purchased these. And then I got them and I was like, wow, these are really nice, but... Dang, these look familiar. And then I looked up on it. I was like, is this a word? It looks like it's upside down. And then I was like, wait a second. These are replica tights. I didn't even know they made replica tights. These are replica tights that weren't even tights to begin with. Somebody took the romantic rose letter print and turned it into a tight. For a replica, first of all, I think they transposed this image pretty well. Um, they stole some artwork and slapped it on some stretchy tights. And um, yeah, be careful out there, friends. Don't do what I did. Don't buy some purple tights because I was like, oh, these are purple. I need purple tights. Yeah, see right here it says, oop, too, too bright. It says from Angelic Pretty. I feel like I should have recognized that print better when I bought it, but I I didn't. Moving on. I have these ivory tights. Another pair of tights from Ruby Rabbit on Taobao, but these are ivory and they have tassels on them. These are actually, these aren't screen printed. This is actually glitter on the tights. Look at these tassels. Y'all see this detail? I told you Taobao is coming for brands throats. They are like, and I know some people have feelings about that, but it's, they want to give these brands a run for their money. Start coming out with some better products, brands. Why haven't you come out with some tights like this? Maybe they did and I'm just, I have never seen them, but. Yo, y'all see these tassels? Look at these tassels. Can you guess which dress I bought this for? Victorian tassel. And it's on both the front and the back. Y'all. Y'all, for like $10 that I can actually fit into, which is another reason why I don't buy brand tights. I can't fit them. If someone in China wants to make some tights that are gorgeous, good quality, and will fit my big behind, I will give them my money and that's okay. Maybe it will inspire other companies in Japan to do the same, or maybe not. Different strokes for different folks. 
don't even want to talk about these tights because I don't even like these. These are from our series. Is it time for me to go to work? Oh, it's almost time for me to go to work. Um, and they're just this like floral, this floral pattern. These are nice. Good, good socks for like, good tights for like classic. Got a little bird cage on it. They're not that stretchy though. Crash to tummy ratio is, it's a little, it's a little short. So yeah, if anyone is interested in these tights, leave a comment. I'll sell them to you for dirt cheap. Next up are these super basic black, like kind of pantyhose sock material. I don't remember where these are from. I bought these for my friend. Actually, we did like a swap. We just have this like little lace, little basic lace at the top. Just little basic black little, little socks. Nothing special. Nothing special. And then the last pair of legwear that I have are these. Yeah, I know someone's gonna have opinions because everyone has them. These are the socks. These are the tights from, these are the tights from Rose Museum that I turned into socks. They're really pretty. Remember how I was telling you that I can't fit brand tights? So I was like, well, these are mine. So I'm gonna make them socks. And I cut off the crotch part. And now they're socks. And they fit me. And go ahead and be mad that I cut up some brand tights that you didn't pay for that are mine. Go ahead. I don't encourage anyone to do this with their items unless you know what you're doing because when you do this you don't have any elastic at the leg area so you need a way to secure these up and sock glue is not the way these do not stay up with sock glue if you have big thighs I got some thighs so you need some sock garters or some kind of secure way to kind of belt these in place. I like, I don't like the sock garters that are actually attached to like a garter belt because it like pulls this and then stretches this out. I like the sock garters that are kind of like a belt for your thighs and they just kind of go over and you strap it and it just holds it up. So if you are going to do something like this, you need to make sure that you have a method of keeping your socks up. And keep in mind that sock glue is not gonna be it. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Anyway, that's all my legwear. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this video and listening to me talk about my socks and all kinds of whatever else I talked about. If you have any questions about any of the legwear items I showed, please feel free to leave a comment or send me a message on Instagram or an email or whatever. If you wanna see more of these videos, Please be sure to leave a comment let me know what else you'd like to see. I still have to do my accessory video and my outerwear. So uh, who knows how long. I'll try and get it out this quarter. I'll try and get it out by the end of the year. So we'll see. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button and hit the bell because YouTube, YouTube trips sometimes and doesn't show people my videos, which I know it's fine. It's whatever. It's the algorithm. But if you want to make sure that you see these videos when they get uploaded, which is once a week, usually on Saturday mornings, hit that bell and you'll get a nice little notification to let you know when my new videos are up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your support, even though I have been inconsistent and I've been trying to figure out how I want to continue to do these things. Um, but yeah, you guys are the best and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.